The International Criminal Court said Friday it has issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin for war crimes because of his alleged involvement in abductions of children from Ukraine. The court said in a statement that Putin is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population children and that of unlawful transfer of population children from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. It also issued a warrant Friday for the arrest of Maria Alexeyevna Elbova Belova, the Commissioner for Children's Rights in the Office of the President of the Russian Federation, on similar allegations. The ICC said that its pre-trial chamber found there were reasonable grounds to believe that each suspect bears responsibility for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population and that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation, in prejudice of Ukrainian children. Russia's foreign ministry responded to the arrest warrants with a statement saying, The decisions of the International Criminal Court have no meaning for our country, including from a legal point of view. Russia is not a party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and bears no obligations under it. Ambassador Beth Van Schock, the State Department official in charge of assembling evidence that could help prove Russia is committing war crimes in Ukraine, told Martin, he is inevitably now trapped in Russia. He will never be able to travel internationally, because it would be too great a risk that he would be captured and brought before a court of law. The same holds true for any other Russian charge with war crimes. They will enjoy some impunity while they stay within Russia, Van Schock said. But what we have seen is perpetrators don't stay within their home states. They want to go shopping in Europe or go on vacation somewhere, and they get identified, and then the law enforcement is activated. And we are never more integrated than we are now. Alex Whiting, a Harvard Law professor who worked in the office of the ICC prosecutor, explained to CBS News. The issuance of arrest warrants is the first step to achieving accountability for war crimes. It signals that there is evidence that war crimes have been committed and that identified individuals are responsible for them and the persons charged will forever run the risk of arrest or surrender, particularly if they travel to one of the 123 states that are members of the court. President Biden has called Putin a war criminal and called for him to face trial, but the U.S. is not part of the International Criminal Court having never ratified the treaty that created the institution.